I'm trying to do everything all at once here, so please forgive me. I have a bunch of really cool stuff for you guys to show. And I need to get my other device running and set up a buyer appreciation gimme for you guys. So please let me do that so that someone gets rewarded here for something. Um, if I tune into this show, minimize it, this is gonna open up for me. It takes a while. Hi, everybody. Hi, 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 hi. Welcome, everybody. Let's do this um, buyer appreciation giving. Where is this here? This is what I want to do. Um, do, 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 do. Let's see. Which one am I going to do? I have a... Um, I have a few of my exclusive um, James Groman uh, Go Gorilla figures. Um, so those are pretty darn cool vinyl figures, exclusive to Tenacious Toys. I'm assuming everyone can hear me. Um, <laughs> so just uh, chat, let me know <clears throat> if you can hear me, because that would, good, okay. Um, let me set this up because this always makes me do this um, before the show. So before anyone buys anything, there we go. Ah, yay! Um, we are going to set this up as the buyer appreciation because um, I have a few of them. It's James Groman, Go Gorilla. So yeah. Um, I'm going to give one of these away at the end of the show to one lucky buyer. Uh, giveaway. Yep, got it. Just give me a sec. It's about a pound. And this is buyer appreciation. There we go. Okay, cool. Good. I've gotten a little bit faster at that, so that's rad. So the buyer appreciation give you again is this uh, James Groman. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't worry, Jax. I'm gonna I'm gonna get to everything. Um, that's a that's a piece by my buddy, um, uh, uh, Forces of Darkness, and uh, I will show you that is that is his Bantha buddy. Let me put the box for this over there. Buyer appreciation. Um, <clears throat> hi, 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 everybody. Hi, hi, hi. Um. This was a piece from Forces of Darkness. So it is a, oh, no. It is a bantha that's missing the ear. You know what? I will, um, that ear needs to be glued back on. There we go. Oh, does it? Does it? Oh, it fits right in there. Oh, it's a bantha buddy. The ear, the ear came off, but it's a bantha buddy uh, resin. So I'm going to put that back in there and glue that little bad boy back together. Um, so what do you guys think? I mean, I have a lot of, so I have a lot of things I can do here. Um, so I can, I can start low and go high. Hi, I'm a hot mess. I can start low and go high. I can um, start with the, the crazy ones like the Sank and the, uh, the Arc Tong and, you know, the Jason Freeney stuff. Um, yeah, I'm Lewis. The only problem with starting low and going high is I don't want to tap everyone out before I get to the really good stuff, you know. So, all right, cool. Start low, go high. Start low, go high. Sounds good. That's what we're gonna do. And um, I will start you guys off. Let's see. So, Ro, I'm I'm glad you're here. I actually have some extra pieces from my earlier Resin is King uh, resin series um, that I could. Uh, I could run low. Um, I've done several. Um, I've done several series of resin figures, um, and a lot of times the artists will just send me extras um, to have out, you know, as as promotional um, items. So I could I could do this stuff. Um, let's see. Got my got my notes, everything. If you guys want to see some of those, I'll do some of those. I'll flip the camera around and we'll get right to it. Uh, boops. Okay. So, um, let's see. I got some really cool pieces. Uh, okay. So this would be here. Let me, let me uh, pull up these auctions. Um, cause I have 
little tiny auctions. There we go. Um, for small pieces. Let's see, shipping plus tax. There we go. You need that gorilla, yep. So here, this can be a few things. This is, wow, wow, does that, does that say 2012? Oh my God. Okay, Dave Bondi, he's a sculptor in the, uh, in, in the designer toy space. This is a resin uh, Akashi, that's his, his, uh, his uh, figure that he campaigns. And this is actually, the, the, this material is actually squishy. So um, we can start out there. This is from uh, 2012. This might be my first, um, this might be my first resin is king. I am not sure. But again, Dave Bondi is the uh, sculptor creator. Comic Junkie, thank you so much. Piece of history. Oh yeah, oh there we go. Resin is King 2. So that was my second resin series. This is uh, resin uh, with blue sparkles in it and then a little cloud of, of squishable material. This is, I cannot believe this is, what is it? Uh, 11 years old now. <laughs> it's amazing. Pulled it out of a box um, a couple of days ago. And I was like, wow, this is, this is something I got to be selling here. Really cute. See nice, lots of nice detail on. Thank you, Funko. Dave Bondi. As old as this shirt. Yeah, just, just oh, almost. Oh, this is actually older than the shirt. Uh, yeah, no, this is just another, it's just another material that you can make at home. 2012 Resonance King Series 2. I do have plans to do another Resonance King Series. I couldn't, I couldn't get it done before New York Comic Con. Funko Fungi. Thank you. Funko Fungi. Funko F. Thank you very much for that. That is awesome. Boop. Put that right there. I got, um, this is one of my favorite dudes. This is Angry Artist. Matt Anderson. It is a super cool painted resin skull. Matt Anderson, Angry Artist. This would also be from 2012. That's my dude. Um, he signed it on the bottom. So it's, it's, this is little weird, weird little skull, uh, resin. It's got huge eyes and tiny nose cavity and, uh, there's some paint on it, you know, a little weathering and stuff. Thanks Urban Decay. Thanks everyone for bidding that one up. 2012 resin is King series two. Matt. Anderson, my homie, AKA Angry Artist. Rock and roll, thanks for the support. Thank you. So all of my resin is King figures are always resin. Rock and roll, nice job. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Awesome. Nice, got that. <laughs> Two rocking. Matt figure. Awesome. Thank you so much. This one is We Become Monsters. So this is another resin piece. This is entry into Resin is King uh, series two. These are all in the same box. <clears throat> we Become Monsters. Worked with him a bunch. Obviously, it's it's a sculpt, so there's several in the sculpt, and then you know it's a, a one of a kind color, which is blue with uh, sort of turquoise sparkles in it. Really cool figure. There we go. It's got a lot of detail on it. It's got a little spine there, and uh, some bones. This is like um, weird, weird bone action on the back. Really cool figure. Yeah, this all you slime. <laughs> this we become monsters. He's he's got just really fun designs. I've done a bunch. Bur Jay Byrne, thank you so much. Appreciate you. We become monsters is a cool, um, 
cool artists that you should look up. Uh, definitely highly recommended. Um, thank you guys for those for bidding on those here. I got another, um, I got another Akashi and uh, I believe it's a Tim Stephson. Uh, so I'll do two more of these. This is another Akashi. This is golden color. This is resin. This is from Resin is King Series 2, 2012. So this is um, Dave Bondi, an artist um, operating out of LA. Really cool figure. So this is, um, I guess, his mashup of um, maybe, you know, Mickey and Mario, possibly. Colorful monster on the left. Yeah, that one, that one. Uh, whoop, this one, that one you're asking about. Slime City, down there at the bottom. Yep, I'll do that next. Let me let me get uh, let me get these next two Resonance King uh, figures out, and uh, and then I will uh, I will do that one. Jay Byrne, thank you so much. Oh, BK Bricks coming in. Uh oh, seven seconds left. Who's gonna get this Akashi? Solid resin figure, 2012. Nice job. Very cool golden color. Thank you, Jay Byrne. Thank you so much. Jay Byrne, nice job. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Let me mark that for you, Jay Byrne. I'm going to do two more of these. Uh, sorry, one more of these, and um, then I'm gonna move on to that monster down to the bottom, like Slime said. Uh, this is an artist named uh, Tim Stephson. This is his entry in uh, Resin is King Series Two. Pretty cool figure. It's almost like a skull squid robot guy. And again, this is um, hand painted, handmade out of uh, resin. And uh, long gone, long sold out, 2012. Um, Jim, thank you so much. Rock and roll up there. Thank you. Got your own uh, resin series going on. So you're collecting a piece of history here. I like that you're, I like that you're into this stuff. Um, Rock and roll. Thank you, sir. Rock and roll. Five rockin' steps. Cool. Okay, so how do you guys feel about fixer uppers? Because I have a lot of items in here that have a little bit of something wrong with them, but they're still super rad. I mean, they're always like, you know, my, my warehouse always marks them as damaged, but um, yeah, let me see. Shit, you guys want me to take this out so you can see it? Take it out of the bag or can you see it there? Yeah, scratchy dent mostly. Um, so uh, I, can always, I can always bust this out so you guys can actually see this because these are, these are worth seeing. So let me see if I can destroy my fingernails and pull these um, pull these staples out. Oh boy! Oh yeah, I got it. Okay. So I'll give you this story about Tempura San. Okay. So Tempura San is a Mighty Jacks product. You can see the little thing there. And um, this is a really cool uh, uh, figure, vinyl figure. Let me pull it out of the bag here. There's the there's a little card from Tempura Sun. So the problem with this one is it's a super cool figure with a really cool paint, and I believe it glows in the dark. The only problem is this little antenna popped off. So that's like one little dot of super glue right there, and it's perfectly perfect. Yeah, I got dumpster fires, Urban Decay. I can do those next. Um, so this is a pretty cool figure. This is about, uh, let's see, they're about six inches tall made of vinyl produced by mighty jacks there we go so this is like my scratch and dent obviously it's going to come with the antenna which goes up here um easy to put back a really cool figure um it's articulated this little arms move legs move 
they're articulated as well. And uh, lots of actually really detailed paint on there. So, you know, there's some, um, some nice airbrushing um, on this one. Oh, Steve. <laughs> welcome, Steve. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Really cool figure. A dot of super glue makes it perfect. Thank you, Ghosty. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, everyone, if you if you share the stream on your various social media accounts, you know, you know, I uh, I would be very thankful. This one's a really cool figure. Oh, bueno. Thank you. Thanks, bueno. Solid figure. Yeah, this uh, retail price is way way over uh, thirty five. So this. Uh, this is a really good, uh, really good value, um, even right now. Thank you, Lewis. Just a little dot of super glue. Well, I mean, I could literally super glue this and then just sell it as normal, but you know, that's sort of goes against my uh, philosophy. <laughs> so, Steve, thank you so much. Steve, Steve, <laughs> thank you. Comes with this really nice card, holographic holographic card <laughs> that is a solid purchase let me get this little uh, antenna back in there so it's in there safely for you there you go cards in there header card is in there everything's in there G. thank you steve g tempura okay so I do have now, now, I do have another one of those, by the way. So if any of you mi that missed out, I actually have two that have the exact same problem. So do you guys want me to run the second one? Same, same jam, same figure, same issue with the little antenna. If anyone wants, uh, and the antenna should, uh, should be right there. Should be right, hanging out right in the bag there somewhere. Oh, where is that antenna? Yeah, uh, where is it? Is it up in the header card? Oh my god. Where is this one? I don't even see the, the antenna on this one. That's weird. All right, well, maybe screw it. Um, we won't do that right now. You guys want me to do the dumpster fires? Because I, I do have two to sell. Um, and I could do that next if you guys were um, into that. Someone did ask about that. Urban Decay. Urban Decay. Cool. Yeah, the dumpster fires are the dumpster fires are perfect, guys. Um, there is nothing wrong with them except my warehouse did check them and pull them because of this. You know, this is you know the box got screwed in. Um, in shipping, but I can um, pull this out for you before we actually auction it. It's, it's perfect. These come in like really nice clamshells, um, inner inner blister packaging, and you know, still wrapped in its thing, and it's you know obviously perfect. So if you guys want me to run it, we can do that one. Boop, there we go. So perfect dumpster fire, imperfect box. This is the original green, uh, sorry, not the original dumpster fire, but the original vinyl dumpster fire. Um, so dumpster fires started out as um, uh, resin figures that, oh, you keep getting muted. Um, dumpster fires started out as very popular resin figures. And I think that might've been um, either Designer Con or San Diego Comic-Con. I cannot remember where Truck first rolled those out. But after that, it was popular enough to warrant um, a run of vinyl figures. So this is the very first colorway of vinyl. Urban Decay, nice job. This is the first colorway of the vinyl dumpster fires. What I would consider the original um, has been a very strong seller, not just in my shop, but in lots of shops. Um, I've spoken to other um, toy store owners and they're like, Thank God for dumpster fires, because otherwise we don't know what we'd be doing. Um, so that was uh, Urban Decay. Thank you very much. 
Appreciate you. What is that? Auction seven? Yeah. Dumpster. And then I'll do the next one right after that. Um, dumpster fire sold. Awesome. Then I have a similar thing for uh, this. This is fine edition dumpster fire. open this up let's see what is what is even damaged here oh yeah there we go there it is that 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 little blip on the side of the uh box that is why this one got pulled and never sold but again it's um it's a perfect this is fine dumpster fire with an imperfect box I wouldn't even call this a scratch and dent because this is like this is perfect for display. And if you're gonna, if you're just not concerned about the box, then you know, here you go. It's perfect. Awesome. What's up, Wenny? What's up, everybody? Hey, Tubbo. No, nope, not even burnt. Perfect. Perfect. This is fine. Dumpster fire. Thanks, Ghosty. Pretty rad. Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I appreciate you. You guys are the shit. You're awesome. Thank you so much, BK Bricks. BK Bricks, nice job. One perfect dumpster fire for BK Bricks. I am glad that I was able to sell that to someone because it is always super bummer to get a perfect toy in and pay for it and then it's just you know I can't sell it so it's very very frustrating so BK thank you on thank you guys thank you guys thank you guys BK Bricks BK Bricks this is fine okay so uh next um I'm going to do something here. I'm going to reward all you guys for being here. I, um, I, for whatever reason, I can't find the antenna. Well, you know what? I'll put that one away. Um, let's see. What can I do for you guys? Um, I have bunch of other stuff. Arson Dunnies. Mr. Monk Custom. Have an Iron Maiden. Uh, uh, Eddie. What is this? A keychain? I got uh, another Matt Anderson figure. I got a Tech 63. I got all kinds of stuff. Charlie the Angry Elephant. You guys... Um, Tech? Joker? No, I got, I found, <laughs> I thought I was out of the Jokers and I got, I, I found my last uh, four. Um, so I don't know why there was some of them sitting there, but I definitely, I have a couple of these. If you guys want me to run them, run them all. No, I don't have a limitless supply. Actually, um, this is, uh, oh, cool. So, so these are, these actually come numbered. So uh, so this particular Joker, unlike most of the other um, uh, uh, double X-ray figures from Mighty Jacks, uh, which were you know made in very large numbers, this was an exclusive to the Loot Chest, which was a shop in Malaysia. And they got a, a thousand of them. Yeah, I'll do the spacer. You want me to do the other shrimp? Okay, all right, I can do the other shrimp. We'll get to all this stuff. Let me get the other shrimp because it's been bothering me. It's sitting next to me. Tempura san. Um, so, 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 so the deal with this tempura san is um, it's a lot like the other one, but uh, I can't find that antenna. So, so that's that's the whole that's the whole jam. So, um, if someone wants to place a bid on this, like I don't know where that antenna went off to and it disappeared, um, but it is the same Tempura San figure. It's a very nice figure, actually. Thank you, Ghosty. 
could uh, I could take it out of I could take it out of here so you can see how awesome it is. This is a six inch figure. This is uh, Temporosan, which is a uh, sort of an in house uh, little figure uh, for Mighty Jax. It's got the little seal of whatever on it. It comes with a really nice holographic card in there. For some reason, that antenna broke off, um, but there's a lot of really nice spray on it on the figure. I believe it might glow in the dark too. Um, so it's a pretty sweet figure. Thank you. Thanks, Robbie. Robbie Ravioli, welcome back, sir. Mission, thank you. Thank you guys for bidding this one up. This is a really cool figure. It's, it's articulated in four places, both arms and both legs. So, you know, it's a pretty, pretty solid figure. I dig it. Pretty sure it glows in the dark. Yeah, he's hiding it somewhere. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel it up here. Um, and I don't know why it would have left the bag. That's kind of like impossible. Um, so maybe it's just hiding somewhere else in there. I don't even know. I did not see it back there. But, Bueno, nice job. Thanks, Bueno. Mission, there you go. This is my last one of these. Yep, Spacer. Run Charlie next. All right, we'll do, yeah, I can show the what's his name. That's for sure. I'm going to definitely do that one. Thank you, Bueno. Thank you, Mission. Really cool figure. Mission, thank you so much. Nice job, Mission. Put a little, put your little label on there. Awesome. Okay. So we ha we've had. Um, you want me to show that? Yeah. Okay. I got a lot of I got a lot a lot of stuff to run through here. This one, if you're familiar with Popec, I will pull it out. This is a brand new glow in the dark vinyl toy from Mighty Jacks. I am totally sold out. I think these are all totally sold out. This is not a scratch and dent. It is perfect. I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't sell the last one. Sometimes it's just one of those things. Um, still in this plastic, so I'll take it out um, of that plastic for you. This one's a little bit bigger, so I'd have to switch to my bigger one options. But um, let's see. Let's move this stuff out of here. I don't know if I can put them up here. Go back here. There you go. Popec. That's the Popec. And Popec comes with a little ball, a um, little vinyl ball, so do not eat this, but you know, it's like a little playing, it's like a playing dog, so I can stay there, yeah. So it glows in the dark. Um, so that's 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 a, a product by What's His Name, it's brand new, this is not a scratch and dent, it's a Mighty Jacks product, comes with a care card, it's got like everything in it. Um, so if you guys are into that, um, I actually have to switch to um, the mediums, so there you go. I'll give you guys a minute on this one. Um, if you want to go do the research, these are worth quite a bit of money now. This is a vinyl toy. This is vinyl, glow in the dark vinyl. It's called Happy Popec. And it's my last one. They've been sold out for years. It's got a little ball there. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, Ro. This is a perfect figure. Just unboxed it for the first time. Everything's perfect. It's like a, like a balloon dog. Really nice figure. Comes in original box, original clamshell, packaging, everything original. Um, everything perfect. Thank you, Bueno. Thank you, Lauren. Lorenz. Oh, Proski. Nice. Good job. Really, really fun figure. I do have, where's my, uh, 
Where's my UV light? I do have a UV light somewhere. Maybe I should go get that. Where did that thing go? time I do this show, I don't have my UV light sitting there. Well, thank you so much, Lurens. Uh, that is a solid purchase. So uh, I'm going to get it back in this adorable little uh, bag and all that so that it arrives perfectly for you. Um, even the little ball comes in a bag. Thank you. Um, so what do you guys want to do next? You guys want me to do that spacer? You ready? Are you, is everyone warmed up now? Like you got your fingers going, you know, I got a spacer and I got a sink figure. Those are both uh, very, very valuable um, items. And we could roll into that. So everyone wants to do the spacer. All right, cool. So let me just uh, get this little Popec back in this box. There you go, half Popec. Big ups to you. Thank you, Lorenz. Appreciate you. This is the glow edition. There we go. Let's see? Glow edition. Okay, put that over there. Uh, it's number eight. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Spacer time. Hope everyone's ready. Get these out of here. We'll do all this stuff later. Spacer. Okay. So, Arctong Spacer. These are super cool figures. So, um, each one does come with two sets of eyes. The eyes are in these little holes in, in, the, uh, in the foam. This is a spacer. It is like a chameleon space guy. Okay. This is the laser edition magnetic tail, articulated arms, eyes roll around in the sockets, okay? This is a bigger item, so I'm gonna have to switch to my larger items. It's, uh, you know, is it white or silver? That is a really good question. Um, it is kind of iridescent, I would say iridescent white. I Whenever I do this with iridescence, you can see, you can almost see the rainbow going there. So this is called the laser edition. So it's supposed to be an iridescent, uh, iridescent white or silver. So hum, how have I been? I have been hustling harder than ever before. Head can be swapped. Yes, the head, the head is also magnetic, um, and comes out. Um, and the eyes come out as well. No, this is not. This is not the blank one. This is not a blank uh, spacer. See if I can. This is a little hard to get that. You have to get your fingernails into the eyeball ridges. But there are two different versions of the eyes. That's hard to get out. I wonder what the other eye color is because it's right here in the box. What are you it's sitting there in the box? That's also hard to get. Okay, so the other eye color is gold. So there's so there's two extra eyes in here that uh, that are gold. So you can either display it. Um, with uh, the silver eyes like I have right here or the, the gold eyes, which look like this. They're all magnetic. I'm going to go stick this little eye back in there so I don't lose that thing. Um, it's got very nice packaging. Um, it's got very nice packaging in there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it, it, is, it is a fun play with other... If you have other spacers... Um, it is here. The auction's going, guys. If you have other spacers, you can do a lot of swapping, which is really, really fun. This is like, a, I don't even remember what this was, $150, $180 figure. Um, it's a really, just really beautiful uh, figure. It's never been out of the box. Head turns, eyes like that iridescent white they call it laser yeah magnetic eyes two different sets of eyes magnetic tail 
um, long since sold out. This color is long since sold out. Um, Arc Tong has moved into um, other designs and stuff like that. We actually had an exclusive of these. <clears throat> yeah, um, super slow internet. Yeah, shipping shipping anything from Asia is just crazy. I mean, I, I dealt with the same thing on my end because I got a bunch of these um, shipped into the United States. That's always one of the things that... Um, it's always one of the things that I grapple with, you know, it's like, that's always like my second question, right? I ask every, Steve, nice job. Good job, Steve. Thank you. Thanks for the support. Um, I ask every, you know, I get all these solicitations for all these toys, right? All the time, all the time, over and over and over. Every day I get emails from all kinds of different people who make toys. And um, thank you, Steve. And I, you know, the first thing I always ask them is, you know, what's the retail price and what's my wholesale price, right? But then, then the other part of that equation is, what is the shipping? Where do they ship from is usually what I ask. Where, where does this item ship from? And um, that's a really important part of the equation. Um, let's see, this goes right here. There we go. It's lots, of, lots of nice, lots of nice packaging here to keep it all safe, right? So this actually goes right here that right like that and then it doesn't move around at all and it's all safe thank you steve um the shipping is usually what kills it for me because like 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 honestly like you know the asian toy makers are makes the coolest stuff right but if i can't like turn a profit on it then like what's you know what are we doing here you know i can't you know what i gotta make decisions like that then yeah, something can be super, 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 super cool, but if I can't turn a profit, there's no point to do it. Okay, it just it's like it's like run the money. It's actually not a money. <laughs> do you miss the dumpster fires? Yes, Thomas, you missed the dumpster fires, sir. I'm so sorry. You wanted something from Two Petal Rose. Yeah, where is Two Petal Rose? Um, here, I have text. I got these things. Dumpster fires were sold. I got the sank. The monies, uh, this, this is a different, it's actually just a money box. I'll show you what's in here. It's just, I went into my, I went into deep storage. <laughs> okay, what the fuck is this? <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I don't even know what these are. These are like little... What is this? I don't even know. It. What are these? Yeah, this. I mean, right. This is um, Professor Xavier. I don't even know what this is. You guys, want me to run this? Oh, they're Kubricks. Are these Kubricks? I don't even know. I don't think they're actually Kubricks, dude. Because they would say, "Aren't Kubricks Medicom?" Aren't they medic? Are you sure these now, guys? Come on, are these really Kubricks or are they like Fubricks? Yeah, Kubricks is Medicom, but guys, this doesn't say no. This doesn't say Medicom on it. All the Medicom stuff says Medicom on it. I don't. I don't see anything on the feet. It looks like the Professor X you have. Should I run them? This is what was in the money box. <laughs> they might be fake bricks, guys. It's, I don't think it's Lego, dude. Anyway, someone will someone will buy it. So here, I'm just gonna run it at like uh, yeah, the smalls. Okay, so so here we go. It might be Fufu. -foo. No, I, I don't know. So this is, this is, okay, so we're going to do it like this. This is one small designer toy of Daredevil, right, that looks like it could be a Kubrick, but I don't think it is. So I, I think it's like, I don't know where these came from. But here, this is for Daredevil. Yeah, I, I really don't think it, it, I really don't think it's a Kubrick. Oh, freaking Gambit. Gambit. Sorry, guys. It's not Daredevil? Okay, it's Gambit. Whatever. Okay, guys. At least I know who this is. I... 
Wait. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It is what it is. It's it's a <laughs> it's a it's a gambit. <laughs> oh my god, Daredevil doesn't have cards. You're right. Mission, nice job. Thank you so much. Get this to you. Nice pull. There we go. Gambit. Oh my god. Come on, Benny. Gambit mission. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna do um Professor Xavier. Next one's Professor Xavier. It's obviously, you know, articulated everywhere. Um except in his legs. <laughs> Just... Thanks, Anthony. <laughs> yeah, it could be. <laughs> Wait, well, he's in a business suit. It could be like, you know, who's a bald businessman? This could be like Mr. Wonderful from Shark Tank. You know, I don't know. What do I know? What do I know? <laughs> it's Kingpin. Yeah, it's Kingpin. Thanks. Thanks, Glass. <laughs> this is a Vin Diesel uh, humor. I don't know. I went to my I went to my deep storage to prepare for um, New York Comic Con. I just found I found a bunch of <laughs> Jeff Bezos. <laughs> yeah, there, there it goes. There's Jeff Bezos <laughs> and his rockets on the moon. Thanks, Mission. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my god. Awesome. I'm on a mission too. I don't know what this is. This is like this is like uh like just a uh yeah <laughs> just a skeleton. Maybe that's Uncle Ben. Um This is Oh, what's the tech? The tech is a the tech is a um it's never been opened, so you guys are gonna watch me open it. Um I, this is a catatomic tech. Um, so this part of the artist series is one of our uh, shop exclusives. So I will slice this open. Um, text have a this panel. So there we go. It's got you know, it's got a um, atomic. So. If you guys want to go bid on this catatomic tech, here you go. This is, uh, this is, you know, I'll just run it as a small. So there you go. Brand new, perfect tech 63. Just pulled it out of the poly. It's even got its, uh, you know, little protective uh, plastic up there. So if you don't have the catatomic tech, um, this is it. And this is our last one. And that is super, super it. The last one. Don't know why I had it. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Mike. My last catatomic tech. I love catatomic. That's Felix. That's the homie. He's uh, a good dude. And we love him very much. There you go, Steve. You're winning that one. Solid purchase. Good job. Oh, Mike. Mike's swooping in. Swooping in. Brand new tech. Never open. Thank you, Mike. Nice job. Nice job, Mike. Let's seal that up. Mike. Um, Mike. Mike LGS. You guys should think about uh, chat. You should think about what you want me to run next. Um, there are a lot of things to run. And uh, you, what do you think? 3A, Big Papa. What's the bot thing behind that blue dude? So 
Um, I'll just tell you guys this for a sec. Uh, let me take a drink. Smart with most expensive now. Okay. I wasn't planning on turning this into a 3A show, but just over to my right, I have two giant boxes of super old school 3A figures from Mr. Monk. Like, I think you guys... Um, uh, I don't think there's a stamp on anything. Um, Zyba. Um, no more Kubricks. I, look, Anthony, I, I really don't think those are Kubricks, honestly. Um, I'm going to be really honest with you. Um, so uh, I have a bunch of 3A figures that are super old. I'll show it to you guys, but I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to do another, I can do the Goombox. I'm going to do a whole other show that's only 3A. So I have I have about three more boxes after all this stuff. We might not even get through all this um, uh, today. But I have three more boxes to sell. And um, one of which is all Funko. Um, so I got to get that out. I'm going to do a whole show on that. Um, just because that has all different, um, uh, has all different, uh, keywords and stuff like that. Um, and uh, here's one of these as well. I'll move this back. Got another, another one of these. Um, I have a whole Funko show and a whole 3A show to do, at least. So I don't, I don't know if, I don't even know if 3A is going to do well here because some of these pieces are like really nice and like never pop up. Um, so, you know, I don't, I don't even know if I should do 3A. But anyway, here is a Rap Kings goon box in our shop exclusive gold and black color. Let's see. Maybe if I bring this a little bit forward. There we go. There we go. You guys see that? There we go. Um, this is a bigger item, so I have to, I have to package it. Yeah, I have to package this um, in a larger box. So I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, let's see. It's like a, it's like gonna be a one pound. It's actually gonna be bigger. Um, okay, I have to choose the right weights for all this. So any Kozik? No, I don't have any Kozik, man. Um, here's the goon box, everybody. So I'll, I'll give you I'll give you guys a chance to um, bid on that one. This is goon box. The only reason why I have it and why it was unsold is that there's like a kind of like a little crease. You can see right here. It was like pushed in a little bit. So yeah, there you go. You can see it right there. That's the only problem with this. The figure is absolutely perfect. This is a $150 figure. It is limited to 50 units in this color. It's got a lot of detail on it. I could show you the 3A stuff after. Pew, what do you mean by stickers? Oh, does it come with the stickers? I'd have to check for the stickers. I don't see the stickers here. $150. Thanks, Amaro. $150 figure limited to 50 pieces. This would be the end of the stock for me. Yeah, it's really dope. Chris B. Murray is the artist. Rock and roll! You are... Awesome. Thank you. So every um, part of the backstory is every every piece of this figure, every little weird detail of the sculpt, the pigeons and the uh, leopard print uh, uh, pants and uh, the flower and all the other little design elements on it. Every single one of those is a reference to a different hip hop artist. So there's even some bees in there. Gummy bear. Yes, gummy bear is dope. Rock and roll. So this is that would be that was large. 
Oh yeah, I made that small. Okay. That was dumb. That's not what I meant to do, but that's okay. You guys want me to do the goon box? Oh, sorry. The um, it's want me to do the gummy bear. There we go. This is done. That is mine. You do the gummy bear if you want me to. Um, I got two things here, so I'm gonna ask you guys about it and what you want me to do. Let's see. Here, some of this out of here. Oh, yay. Blue guy. Charlie. Charlie Nuts. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> this is funny. So, you, those of you who are customizers, I want you to pay attention here because this is, this is kind of interesting. Oh, okay. All right. So, these are really heavy. First of all, this, this is the gummy bear anatomy figure. Okay. So that's cool. It's awesome. But this whole time, this whole time, I've had a whole bunch of other pieces sitting here because I've had so many of these through. Like some of the pieces I've had to raid to send to customers, right? So I've got brains and I've got like spines and organs and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I, I'm kind of like, should I, I even have more parts here. I even have more parts. There's a whole box that says rated for parts. So like, I, uh, I don't think that's Murakami. I don't think that's Murakami. Oh my Lord. So many parts. Okay. So... I do have, like, like I've got this whole stash of parts, right? This is not a complete figure. It's, like, just a bunch of, like, skulls and bones and brains and livers and just, like, all kinds of other stuff. So I'm wondering, like, should I run? And, and this one is complete. So should I run the complete one separately? And then all the parts, like, as a package? Like, does any do any of you customizers have a need for a whole bunch of parts? I guess that's a question. Okay, separate. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna run this now. So this is this is here. Let me let me switch my this is not a small. This is actually um, large. This is heavy. Let's see large auction. Um, this is a complete gummy bear anatomy. Wow, I just lost a brain. Let me, let me put these brains on the floor. Good Lord. It's, there's been a lot of them. So this is a complete kit here, right? You, you put it together. So you open it up. There's the shells right there, the acrylic shells. And those are all the pieces there. Um, this is the bigger version of the box that I think is more... Um, more uh, safer for the acrylic uh, body uh, shells. So everything's perfect here. I literally just opened this up. I literally just opened this up uh, uh, just to show you guys. It's never been opened. Clear Gummy Bear Anatomy by Jason Freeney. I think it's I think it's about an eight inch tall figure. Um, this is made by, uh, manufactured by Fame Master, but it was sort of a collaborative effort between Mighty Jacks and Fame Master, because I believe Mighty Jacks had Freeney under, um, under contract. So this is kind of like they put um, Jason Freeney's name on it, and uh, he he did this design and concept, and then Fame Master. Uh, which is 4D Master, Fame Master, same company, uh, manufactured it. This is a clear. Yeah, I do have brains on the floor. This is a clear gummy bear anatomy, clear. So it would be this one right here. At the top. Um, yeah, that, that was some weird stuff that happened later with different um, different... Uh, no, I uh, believe me, s slow internet. I didn't know all about it. 
um, because I spoke to him about it. Um, yeah, because I, I had to ask him when when they um, when they were offering me other products later on, anatomy products. Um, I placed an order for all that stuff, and um, thank you, thanks BK Bricks, thank you, BK Bricks. You're about to get a good, really solid price for that one. Thank you, BK. Oh, you're still winning. You're still winning. Someone's trying to someone's trying to snipe you. Bueno. See, I ha I have it set to to reset to um, ten seconds. So, thanks guys. Thanks Robbie. It's an awesome piece. Hard to find now. Really hard to find. What's up? What's up, Jordy? Bueno, thank you. This will be a fully complete fully complete set. Bueno, thank you so much. Oh, it's my your first purchase. Thank you, Bueno. Appreciate you. Appreciate you a lot. Thank you, guys. And just by the way, um, I know that this probably doesn't need saying, but you know, you guys are really helping me out, clear out uh, this inventory um, in advance of my uh, warehouse move. So it's, it's super um super useful and super appreciated and i appreciate every sale um so thank you all for for bidding um all right so any customizers up in the chat you want to do charlie yeah i got no i have a it's actually the sink i have is pretty small actually um but we could do that Let me just make everyone happy. I do. I, I have a bunch of different things that we're running here, but here, this is my this is my last Charlie. Actually, let me. This is a smaller item, so let me go pick the smaller item. Small, small auction right there. Did I load that up correctly? Small auction. Okay. Dirty bot. Yeah. No, I don't have battle worn videos. Uh, uh, the dirty bot is um, is uh, three i from forever ago. Oh, this is my exclusive. Okay. Um, I can't believe I didn't sell this yet. Um, wow. Okay. Well, so it turns out, turns out this is my Charlie exclusive and, uh, you know, go for it. Here you go. Um, I, I think we made 50 of these. This is the last one that I have, um, in the, tenacious exclusive color. So this would be a very, uh, you know, I consider this a collector's item now. Um, this is sold out just so fast. It's just gone, super gone. And this is the last one. It's perfect. Yep, Charlie exclusive. Yeah, Jasiki, if you want to get up in here, paging Jasiki. Yep, limited to 50, exactly. Oh, there you go. Angels in Creative Series 2. That's, yeah, right, right. Brock, thank you. 2019. This is, you know, for me, one of the rare items that sold, you know, sold out very quickly. Love that. It's always really good. This is one of the 50, the last one of the 50 available. Thanks, Jim. Jim is winning. Original box, everything's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Comic Junkie, thank you for stepping in. Last Blue Charlie, the Angry Elephant by Angel. I, uh, I can run it. I actually have a lot of them, uh, Glass. Comic Junkie, thank you so much. Thank you very much for that. Great purchase. Great purchase. Safely back in the original box. All tight, tight and nice and perfect. There we go. Comic Junkie. 
put a little label on that so we don't get confused here. Yeah, it's uh, so <laughs> just so you know, you guys saw the figure, but this this is labeled defective by my warehouse because of this. So this is like a scratch and dent, but you know, I, I didn't didn't really pull that over. Didn't notice that till later, but hope you don't mind that that little ding there. Um, I have to run the pop up. Um, so. Flip this over. So this is Comic Junkie. Um, got Charlie. I have to run the pop-up because you guys are asking about it. This one probably, no, this was just one I sold. This wasn't even, nothing wrong with the box, nothing wrong with anything. Yeah, I got, I got Punk Drunkers. Yeah, I can run that. So this is my Tenacious 1 of 100 edition. This is the last, what happened to the separate body parts? I can do that next. You want me to do that next? I can do that next. Do it now, now, how do you guys want me to do this? How do you guys want me to do this? Cause I, I have like, I have just a lot. There's just a lot, a lot, a lot. There's this whole box full of the separate body parts and, and then even more. Like I have so many that I can't even fit it in a box. Do you, does anyone want to do, no, we didn't do Big Papa yet. Sorry, never fear. I'm trying to maybe be a little consistent here because I said I was going to do this. Do, do any, do, like, should I do all of it as one, all of them for cheap? Okay. All right. So here, let me, let me change it back to, these are actually kind of heavy. So this is not small. Um, I, I would, it's, 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 like, it's like a three pound thing. Here, so. Whatever. I need everyone to pay for the correct shipping or else it doesn't, it doesn't, my labels are all wrong. So I'll just show you, I'll bust this open so you guys can see what we got in here, what it comes with. It's gonna be the whole, oh my God, the whole, the whole, oh God, so many body parts. <laughs> it's so many. Okay. So like that's all the body parts. Okay, so that's what you're bidding on there, okay? So go for it. <laughs> just all all the freaking body parts. So there's one shell in there, not a whole shell, just one piece of the shell. This skull, there's like a I think there's a brain in the skull. I got more brains. I got more pieces like this. There's just like a ton of stuff. So some one of you, yeah, there's there's, you know some intestines like the brains come in different parts i mean it's just i got so much i can't even fit it on my little <laughs> it's like some intestines over across the floor there jim i don't know what you're gonna do with this but it's a hilarious box to get frankly <laughs> so many brains <laughs> so many brains the bare plastic is only the front not the back piece there's, so the, uh, these usually come with two pieces. I don't have the back piece. It's just the front. So, you know. I... Just that one. No back. Right? So, you know, goes like goes like that. And all the other pieces, you know, go like that. I mean, there's, there's so many pieces. <laughs> it's like crazy. It's just crazy. Oh my God. All this stuff. Yeah, there we go. Rock and roll. Nice job, sir. Nice pull. I don't know what you're going to do with all this stuff, but it'll be really funny. These are at least hilarious. I mean, some of these are like individually packaged, so you can, like, you can literally just send them out to people or something. I don't, I, I don't even know. I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. All right. So let's do the, let's do the um, big papa next. Anatomy parts go to row. Thanks. Okay. All right. Big papa. Where's, where's this? We're going to run this now. Big papa. Never unboxed. So I'm going to 
unboxer right now. It's got a little bit of tape holding all the pieces together. This is what it looks like. This is our this is our exclusive edition. It's got the sunglasses up there, the crown there. Um, it's really it's a really nice figure. Let me pin a uh, medium. Actually, this is this is actually a large. This is a two pound uh, uh, box. Uh, this is Clutter Brand. Clutter and Propaganda. Clutter produced for Propaganda. Let's see. Let me get them out. There we go. Big Papa. He's got a crown. He's got shades, sunglasses. Let's go on. There you go. So this, this is Tenacious Toys Shop Exclusive, Ron English. Um, this is made by Clutter, official Ron English piece, limited to 100. There's my dog on the back, on the box, you can see. So this is obviously um, a, a riff on the um, MC Supersize platform. It says mass consumption on the back. This is my last one. This is an actual chain here, or a, a plastic chain. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take the plastic off the medallion because I want it to be nice with uh, when whoever gets it gets it. But this is my last one. Last one of 100. What's retail on this? I believe it's 150. Um, someone can correct me on that. Um, it's been a little while since I sold this, but I believe it's 150. Glasses come off. He's got his mic there. Yeah. MC, MC Super Size. There's his helmet. Biggie. Yeah, really beautiful piece. And original packaging. And I have the, the inner, um, you know, blister. So it, it'll just get to you in this condition. Um, so everything's perfect. No one's ever touched this before. I mean, outside the factory. Yeah, thank you, Super Slow. 150 edition of 100. Yep. So we're getting up towards retail here. Yeah, 2019. Thank you. That was a big year for us. We got a lot of stuff that year. Cool figure. And right up towards retail here. D Puck. Thank you so much. Let me. Uh, take a minute here and, and get uh, Biggie back into his proper positioning in here, which is really, really important. Okay, deep. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Love when these blisters go back together. Solid. That means the piece is going to be solid, obviously. Um, I have bubble wrap here to make sure everything is packed super nice. There we go. Thank you, D Puck. Nice, nice purchase. Very nice purchase there. Uh, D Puck. Okay. So, what is next? You guys want me to do a 3A bot? There is it. There it. Yes, I do. I do. Right on the floor there is. Uh, right on the floor there. So I got this, which is one of about ten or fifteen three A figures that I have. Um, please run that. Okay. So again, uh, let me let me uh, let me say a couple of things on this. This is part of uh, my my buddy Lance's collection. Um, this is a very, very old 3A figure. And uh, uh, part of the proceeds from this goes to Lance's mom. These do not come boxed. Lance did not keep any boxes for any of his figures. So it just comes just like this. As seen, as pictured. Um, I don't know why. He's an artist, so he didn't really, he didn't really give... He wanted to see the figures. He didn't, the, the figures being in boxes made him sad. It makes me sad too, so. Um, 
So I can, uh, yeah, he didn't, he didn't ever keep packaging. Uh, let's see, this kind of, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of heavy. So let me see, let me go to uh, a medium, my medium option. So again, this is, um, this is a 3A figure from back in the day. It does not come with a box, highly articulated. Um, you know, it's got thumbs and finger joints and, uh, you know, everything moves, comes exactly like this. I have a lot more pieces like this in a box just to my left. I'm going to do a whole show on these. So if you're into 3A, please pay attention um, to my shows. I will try to uh, promote them early. Um, this is, I have many even bigger figures, even more rare, huge humanoid figures from 3A with like puffer jackets and stuff and like giant drop cloths and uh, all kinds of stuff. 3A is an old defunct toy company focused on weathered robots and also um, action figures and sort of girls um, by Australian artist Ashley Wood. <clears throat> um, they were manufactured um, by 3.0, which is its own uh, corporation, but the 3A toys were made by 3.0, um, who also makes some of the other action figures that I sell. Uh, so so 3.0 deals with licensed action figures and 3A for a while um, was only Ashley Wood's designs with bots like this, robots. Um, lots of weathering, lots of really, really, um, at the time when 3A was making bots like this, it blew us all away because this weathering was just something none of us really saw very much from a factory made uh, toy. So State of Media, thank you. Awesome. Bunch of money going to uh, Cheryl, who is Lance's mom. So thank you on that. Stating. I'm just going to put a little sticker on the bottom of the foot just to make sure that we don't get uh, too confused here. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Um, so this is uh, let's see, 24 by uh, PA. So this is number, this is number medium two. Okay. <laughs> yeah, PM, uh, PMD, I, I have tons of stuff that no one's ever seen. <laughs> <clears throat> so let's see what can we do next someone wanted me to do the arson dunnies and someone asked for the punk drunkers that was so oh my god i can't believe i didn't do the sink yet that is insane <clears throat> For whatever reason, this is a this is a chase color. Whoa! Oh my god, it's clear. What, dude? Oh my god. Okay. Wow. Um, let's see. So it's got some other pieces. Right, so it's got a base. Let's put it right here. I will pick it up so you guys can see it better. And then it's got some, oh, let's see, what do we got? We got a little shell and we got a wing. Is there another wing or is it just the one? Yeah, it's just the one wing. Okay, this goes on the top. This goes on the top. Wow, okay. This is a pretty intense piece. So this is a, um, this is Sank the Void, okay? And um, apparently, like, I had this marked 
as a uh, a chase uh, colorway of this. <clears throat> so let me see if I can do this for you guys. So this is a so so this is a valuable version of a valuable figure. So are you guys ready to bid on this? I mean, it's, it's, it's beautiful. Look, okay, let me, let me see if I move. It's clear. This is the void. You can see. Oh, nightfall. Okay. The void nightfall. So y'all can go see what that's worth. I think it's worth a, a whole whole mess of money. Um, it's about six inches tall from the base to the top of the, the feathers there. Comes in a beautiful box. The packaging is, is very... Yeah, this is nightfall. Yeah, this is night. All right, you guys ready? There you go. Nightfall. 280 on eBay. Thank you, PMD. 280 on eBay. It's really, it's really gorgeous. It's actually, it's, this is one of those things, you know, I, I, I get on here on whatnot and I, I start these auctions and I'm like, oh my God, Benny, you should have just kept it, dude. You should have just kept it. I mean, wow. It's just perfect. Just perfect, clear and gold. Yeah, I know, I know, Jim. I, it's like, <clears throat> I should just keep everything, right? Like, I mean, by that logic, like, I don't even know. Oh, 420 on, on <laughs> 420. Well, you gotta look at, on eBay, you gotta look at completed listings. So I should have like run a contest for this one or something like that. It's a steal at 145, like an absolute steal. <laughs> Wonder Tron. Steve. Nice job, Steve. Nice job. Very nice. Let me uh let me get this one all packed up. Nice job, Steve. You just you just won right there. Get all these little pieces back in where they go. Thankfully, there's not that many pieces. It does. It does have a uh, a little shell, matching shell, right there. Oh, should I be running these on uh, on Fridays <laughs> on payday? Uh, maybe that's smarter. Yeah, <laughs> maybe that would be smarter. <laughs> Can't rerun anything. I am. Um, <laughs> that is that is all we can do is just. Run them when we got them. Yeah, I um, you know, Discord is cool, guys. But like, like I'm gonna be really honest with you. I am, I'm, I'm like, full up on social media. Like, I, I just can't, I can't manage more things. I just can't. Um, I'm, I'm like done. I'm, I'm, I'm full. And so, like, I recognize that people use Discords, but I, I just, I can't run one can't run it like it's like impossible for me it's just too much all right cool awesome thank you um steve so this is this one was uh medium three i am done with social media 
I'm not done. I just can't. I can't take on more. It's impossible. I'm just keep doing it. Do you guys have a box? Where's that big? Where's that box? It's like a black box for us. Oh my god, it's here somewhere. Okay. Um, go. You guys want me to run this? Anyone into older super plastic? This one is signed. That's a Junko sign. 2D, you want me to do 2D? Yeah, Ron English, I just did. Got that. Comes with a sticker. minifigure. I did not know that these came with minifigures. I was not aware of that. So there we go. Drop this down a little bit. Okay. There we go. Comes with a mini. You guys ready to rock and roll? Um, I don't think the figure is signed. I think the box is signed. I don't see a signature on this figure. The box is signed, though. The box is signed right there. So, this is... Okay, is everyone ready? There we go. So again, this is a Junko Mizuno super plastic figure. It's very beautiful. Comes with this little guy accessory and some stickers. Um, the figure is not signed, but the box does come signed. It's right, signed right there at the bottom. Very cool figure. Thank you, Urban Decay. Definitely one of my favorites. It's got extra arms there. The uh, some of the deco there is metallic. Thank you, Hogs. Really, really nice figure. Big fan of Junko Mizuno and all kinds of all kinds of uh, art that she makes. Really beautiful figure. BK, are you out? Oh, too expensive. Urban Urban Decay bows out. Michelle, you might get this one. Anyone else want to take a crack? Beautiful figure. Get it, Michelle. Get it, Michelle. Urban Decay, you think you're poor, you should try selling designer toys. <laughs> Michelle, nice one. Very nice. Really nice figure. Glad, glad you got it. Repeat customer, you are awesome. Good job, Michelle. Okay. Nice figure. Let me get all these pieces back in the box. Comes with a little extra guy, extra character. Got a couple of stickers go in the box. Yep, boop, 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 boop. There we go. And sign box. Solid purchase, Michelle, thank you. So I got Dolby's, I got 
the Gorilla's 2D. Okay. Blue Rabbit, do I have any Sket One pieces? Um, the only thing Sket One I have, honestly, guys, is um, my own personal uh, turquoise cranky, and I'm not selling it. Blue Rabbit. Steve. Yeah, let's do that real fast. This is a small one. It's actually kind of heavy, but it's a sm I'll, I'll mark it as a small one. This is one of six Bun Buns by Brent Nolasco. It's from 2015. 2015, think about that. Bun Bun articulated at the head. It's got these weird eyes. I had six of these. These are a shop exclusive. They're all hand painted. I'm not sure who did the resin casting here, but um, Brent Nolasco is the customizer and designer of these little weird things. Yeah, it's got funny teeth, really nice eyes. I'll put up 2D. I'll put up 2D. This is Bun Bun by Brent Nolasco. It's about uh, it's about six inches tall. Comes in a, a nice box poly bag. Yeah, I got action figures too. Yes, yes, C priests. I have lots of action figures. Thank you, Miguel. A lot of detail in this one. This sort of Brent Brent style. Brent is sort of loosey goosey, creepy monster style, basically. All handmade. Miguel, thanks, Steve. Really nice. Lots of paint. Lots of paint work here. Thanks, Miguel. Oh, Steve, Steve swoops in. Steve swoops in. Oh, Bueno. <laughs> bueno dives in. Robbie. <laughs> he is ugly cute. That's kind of the Brent's thing. Ugly cute is, is definitely a thing that Brent Nolasco is a, a big fan of, I would say. Robbie Ravioli in there. Wow. That was a <laughs> nice job, Robbie Ravioli. Nice job. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. That's a heartbreaker for everyone else. That's awesome. Good job. Um, small 15, bun bun, Robbie, nice job, nice job, Robbie. Um, you guys want me to do that 2D now? I can do that 2D if you want. Put that little sticker right in the bottom of that. Robbie, that one goes, that one ends up going in a, um, ends up going in a, a box. And it's got a bag and a header card and all that stuff. So I'll, I'll make sure it's in there. Um, okay, so so this is um, yet another uh, yet another. Uh, we could call this a scratch and dent technically, um, but this is another example of a damaged box that my warehouse um, pulled, uh, and the figure is fine. So I'm unboxing it from the um, from the blister pack uh, for the first time. Um, I, sorry, didn't, um, it's the first time I'm opening it, so I didn't put these batteries in it, but this is, it does come with batteries. This is a light up figure and the eyes light up. This is 2D um, by Super Plastic. It's really big. I think it's like, uh, it's like 12 inches tall or something like that. The box, um, has a, uh, the box has like a, you know, a little dent on this corner. You can see it right there. That That's why, that's why this one was labeled defective by my warehouse. The, the, the product is fine. And, uh, you know, I can, there you go. Super plastic is your jam. So there you go. 
Super Plastic is your jam. Here is a perfect Gorillaz 2D figure for you. Really nice. Really nice figure. Uh, obviously, 2D is the singer of Gorillas, and so he's got his mic stand here. And his the 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 reason he uh, comes with batteries is his eyes light up. Um, your card should be charged immediately. That's the only way for um, that's the only way for us to manage these auctions. Um, so it has to be charged right away. Thank you, BK Brex. Skating media. Nice job. Well, Wondertron, I think you better um you better throw a, a bid in there. There we go. I like this thing. This is just like goes over the head. <laughs> Stating Media. Nice job. Stating Media 1. Nice job. Thank you for the uh, thank you for the sale. Put this right on the head. Goes into the box. The whole thing is one unit, by the way, so it's sort of like you know, I suppose suppose it's easier that way. It's got a very extensive set of blister packaging, so everything will be nice and safe. It goes back in the blister like that, back into this imperfect box, but this is a rad perfect figure. Got a whole bunch of other cool stuff here. Give me a sec, let me just take notes on this. Stating media. 2D. Okay. All right. Dolby, you got it. This is. This is a Dolby. So, Dolby's were produced by um, Mad, Jeremy Model. Mad Toy Design, Solid Industries, those are both his uh, companies. Um, and I believe this one is, um, I believe this one is, um, is this Kathy Olivas? Oh, yeah, K.O., yeah, Kathy Olivas, yeah, there we go. All of us, believe us? Yeah, that was my last uh, Gorillas character for now. Dolby is um, reminiscent of the old uh, cassette tapes. So it's that. Um, what do I need to do? I need to really, I need to drop this. Let's drop this down so you guys can see that better. There you go. Um, Kathy Olivas Dolby. It looks like an old cassette tape. It's actually much bigger than a cassette tape, um, actually. So let me let me change this to, this is a, um, it's actually, even though it's a small figure, it's a pretty darn big box. Jeremy, Jeremy likes to make big boxes. Kathy Olivas, absolutely. Back looks like that. Articulated arms, articulated legs. All right, bro. Catch you soon. See you at Comic Con, my friend. It's gonna be dope. BK Bricks, thank you. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the bid. Big box on this one. That's why. That's why I. That's why this has to be a medium figure. It's just going to be a big package. Pretty cool figure. Mm 
Kathy Olivas artwork on it. Mike, LJ, welcome. We're auctioning designer toys here. Well then, Wondertron, this is your jam. Better get a bit in there. There you go. That's your piece right there. That's your piece. BK Bricks, look at you. Look at you. Nice job. Nice job. Back in the box. You guys want me to do these action? Someone's asking about action figures. So if you guys want me to run the action figures, I can go run them. It's medium five. Punk Drunkers, <clears throat> I literally don't know why I have this one. Um, I just don't. Uh, it's a thing I've had in stock for a while, and uh, the, they, they sold out. Um, and then now I have one again, um, and I don't understand why. Um, but you know, that's the way this stuff goes. <laughs> it's like, there's a lot of, a lot of pieces in the warehouse and, uh, you know, it's sometimes stuff slips through the cracks. Sometimes, you know, a lot of times what happens, I, I figured out what was usually happening as I'm going through all my old stuff is, um, I will hold a product or a couple of products for a customer for you know whatever reason and um you know then something doesn't happen and so you know it's just uh you know then i just have it and then i just like a couple of months later i'm like why am i holding this and there's nothing to hold it for so this is this is a punk drunkers official action figure it's highly articulated um the reason why this is awesome is because this is made by 1000 toys. So this is a part of their new synth initiative, um, 112 scale figures. And that means that this is an extremely playable, highly articulated action figure with a lot of accuracy and detail. It's got, you can see it's even art articulated in the midsection, um, all up and down the arms. And uh, it's just 1000 toys really just makes some of the best action figures um, out there. So um, I can't remember what the uh, retail of uh, this uh, piece is, but it's, um, oh gosh, can I it's got to be like 75 to $90. Um, and this is my last one. I actually like this one. People are like, oh, never fear toys. You're worried about taxes. What are you worried about taxes with? Oh, eighty dollars. Thank you. Thank you. Um, taxes. You know they um, they may uh 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 whatnot creates the labels for us, and so we just apply the labels that they give to us. So how that pans out for you on the Amaro? Nice job. How it pans out for you on your end is like sort of hard for me to know actually. Um, it's hard for me to predict. I don't, I don't really know. Um, this is medium six tomorrow. Oh, you guys want me to do the other action figures? It's got a stack of them. Where are they? Okay. <clears throat> More action figures. Got these. These are from the same series, so more 1,000 toys. Should I, should I run these? Okay. So here's the here's the red one here. Let me put these 
is like this. And I can put the red one up next to it. There we go. All right, there you go. Um, there you go. This is the red Knights of the Synth. Um, red, also known as Brick, comes with all these accessories in here. Brand new, perfect action figure. It's got a few different heads, which is just weird. I don't even know the story with that. This is made by 1000 Toys, 112 scale figure. This is the uh, this is a toy pizza, um, which is different from the plastic pizza, by the way. This is toy pizza, made by 1000 Toys, 112 scale, fully articulated Knights of the Slice action figure. This also, uh, you know, has a retail price of up, up around 80, uh, 75 to 80, I think. So, just doing some warehouse clearance here. 89.99, thank you. 89.99. So it's perfect, perfect, solid, nice card. Thank you, Patrick. Comes with a pizza cutter, knife, right? A couple of different hands, a couple of different heads, which I, I, don't, I haven't really figured it out. Patrick, thank you, sir. Patrick Buck. Okay. Now, Patrick, you're probably gonna need the whole set. So here's the next one. This one is green, also known as lime. Comes with the same accessories. Highly articulated action figure. Really nice. Made by 1000 Toys. Definitely one of the best in the business, honestly. Go Gorillas. Rob, I'll do that after I do these uh, Knights of the Slice, okay? Just hang on. Hang on a couple of minutes. I'll do that one. 1000 Toys action figure. You guys are all getting super deals here. They are worth way more than 30 bucks or 40 bucks. I even paid more than that for them um, by a lot, so... You know, these are uh, really cool, really cool figures to get. Um, I, you know, I, I these are really nice. This packaging is really nice. It's still in really, really, really good shape. Um, but even though I'm saying that, my own personal feeling is that you should open them and play with them. That's my personal feeling. That's how I, that's how I roll. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just like that a lot better. Um, tomorrow. Thank you. Nice job, Amaro. Thank you very much. And one more. I'm going to do the blue one just because if I don't do the blue one, my OCD will go insane. Um, so let's just get the, the last blue one sold, and uh, then we'll move on to a uh, Go Gorilla. And we could even do my um, could even do my my Kitty Pillar if you guys are into it. Okay, here's the next one. This is blue. Obviously, the best color is blue. So everybody knows that. Knights of the Slice. One twelve scale six inch action figure produced by. 1,000 toys. Really cool figures. I would expect uh, Patrick and Amaro to be battling this one out. Oh, Dante, good for you. Really nice. You can see the reflection. That's the apartment building across the street out my window. <laughs> So nice and shiny, perfect. 
Thanks, Patrick. You guys are getting a solid deal on these. These are, you know, $90 action figures. Dante, thank you. Doomba, hi. What's up, guys? Yeah, take them out and display them. Dante, looks like Dante is going to pull this one out. Nice job, Dante. Thank you. Okay. All sold. Nice job. Nice job. Lots of cool stuff. Just got sold. Let's do one of these. So this is. I actually made these stickers at some point. James Groman. Go Gorilla. Oh yeah, Jermaine, I, uh, hey, thank you. Yeah, you you took advantage of our sale. Thank you, appreciate that. Yeah, our um, warehouse is super backed up. Because <laughs> we ran two sales out of the same warehouse at the same time. I ran a sale for Big Shot too. Um, okay, so here we go. This is James Groman figure of a gorilla. This is our shop exclusive. This is called Go Gorilla. Um, this came to us because we were contacted by a gorilla media company called Go Gorilla um, that does um, gorilla style advertising in uh, uh, major cities. And they made this figure and they said, hey, do you want an exclusive? And I said, hey, yes. So um, this is a James Groman piece. They got, we paid James Groman to sculpt this for them. And uh, I just have the last of mine from uh, the warehouse. Super cool piece. You know, there's, um, if you know James Groman, there, uh, he's in very high demand. So, um, you know, getting a piece that's sculpted by him is pretty rad. Patrick's going to pull this out with a massive... Uh, massive steel <laughs> of this figure. <laughs> That's a solid price. There you go, Rob. Articulate that. The arm's pretty chunky. It's a chunky guy. It's like uh, six, six and a half inches tall. Articulate that. The arm's big barrel chest. Huge feet. Very stable figure. Rob, thank you. Yeah, it's got cute glasses. Really cool, really cool figure. Never fear toys, thank you. Thanks for coming out, throwing that bid in, appreciate it. Never fear toys, nice job. Nice job, stolen, stolen, awesome. Never fear. Go gorilla. Stolen at 61. Okay. What do we got next? You guys want me to do the, uh, yeah, good going, good going. I can do um, an arson uh, dunny, or I can do a uh, 3A kitty pillar. Oh, you know what? I even have a, I have a Godzilla figure, too. Godzilla figure. I've got a... Uh, so uh, uh, a Japanese dragon, and then uh, and then Colin's dragon. Oh, never fear, your um, your payment uh, didn't go through. Can you check on your um, can you check on your payment, please? What is the Godzilla? The Godzilla is a Tokyo vinyl figure. The box is kind of dinged up. 
and um, I'm not sure why I have it. Um, it's super cute. Oh, it's designed by Tuma, that's why. Yeah, that's why I have it. Do you guys want me to run this Tuma designed Godzilla? Do you guys know who Tuma is? Toma, sorry. Toma. You're right. It is Toma. <laughs> Barzo Hawk. Thank you. I always see T O U and I'm like, Toma. Toma. It's not, a, yeah, it's actually not a Toma. It's a Toma. I can run that if you want. I can run uh, Collins' uh, Dragon in the back. I can run. Um, I can run uh, this Arson uh, Dunny. Got these guys. The donut dude. Your call. Open that dummy up. Put a piece of tape on this. It's been sitting in here for gosh knows how long. Okay, got some accessories in here. There we go. Mm, there is an accessory, and the accessory is like a little laser gun. Okay. Yeah, run it. Run it. You say run it. All right, so I, I literally, I don't know how long I've had this, but it's been a while since Arson released this Dunny. Maybe there's a year on this, 2012. 2012, 11 year old three inch dunny by my homie Arson. That's Lonnie out in PA. That's my dude. Love him. Probably bought this at the kid robot store or something. Oh, that is signed, right? There you go. Yep. It appears to be signed in Sharpie right there. It appears to be signed. Yeah, I got two of them, so that's why I'm, that's the only reason I'm selling one. Comes a little ray gun. Signed on the bike. 2012. Very cool piece. Toma, thank you for reminding me. Yeah, kid robot. Yeah, yeah. They're, you know. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Never fear. Why, if you're still in here, please go. Please go check your payment. Um, go check your credit card up in the uh, in your profile. Thanks, Mike. Mike, nice job. Mike. Good going. Good going. Let's go back in this little foil. It's been in for 11 years, which uh, blows my mind. Wow. <clears throat> okay. I think that's, uh, we're getting on towards the end of it here, guys. Um, what about the, uh, did we do some of these? Here, this one's pretty cool. This one's number 500 of 1,000. 
This is so, so just so you guys know, I have a couple of these and they all are individually numbered. So this is number 916 of a thousand, but this one I think is super cool because it's number 500 of a thousand. So like you don't really see stuff like that very often. Um, this is uh, glow in the dark. The green parts of this glow in the dark. Um, I did import these from Malaysia, literally. <laughs> so I bought um, all the rest of them uh, that were left over from uh, the loot chest Malaysia. And what you see here, what I have here, um, actually not even in my warehouse, but in my house um, is the last of them. So they're pretty cool. You know, officially licensed uh, Joker, DC figure. It's got the Justice League up there. Um, this would be the most limited Joker, I believe, that they made. Um, because not a lot of um, not a lot of stores really opted for exclusives for these figures. It was just like the quantities are too high, and even. Even the Loot Chest Malaysia, like, they ran into an issue. They were like, wow, we have too many double X-rays. And they found me. And they're like, yo, you sell a lot of X-rays. Do you want to buy our stock? And I'm like, yes, I do. Um, and so I did. Um, and I actually ordered from them several times until I depleted all their um, X-ray stock because um, a lot of that stuff got really hard to find. And it was still selling well in my shop. So, you know, that was, uh, you know, my little... Miguel, thank you so much. That's my little success story there. But now I have all the rest of the Loot Chess Malaysia exclusive Jokers, and uh, I believe that is like uh, three or four of them. College student, hey, welcome back. Welcome friggin' back. <laughs> there you are. Nice job. Um, so this is Joker number 500. That's college. All right, cool, really cool. You guys want to throw a bid on my um, my my kitty pillar because we can do that. Actually, this is um here. This here's another small one. This is my this might be my last um, baby fats, the last dragon, uh, the first dragon by uh, Colin Hoffman. That's Big C. This is a Safubi style figure, and that means it's soft vinyl. And this one is made in the United States. Um, so you can see the Safubi style, the, the vinyl is poured into this hole and then uh, goes like this and then it's popped out of a metal mold. Made in the USA though, <clears throat> at Mile High Safubi. So this is a Mile High figure designed by Colin, AKA Big C. And this is my exclusive colorway of baby fats. My last, my last blue one. Yeah, no, this is the first dragon. Yeah, thanks, Michelle. The last dragon is a cool movie, though. Lots of detail on this. Lots of lots of sculpture. Really cool Safubi style figure. Baby fads. If you don't know the artist Big C, go look him up. Yeah, U.S. made, made in the U.S. So, um, so this figure, so so like all Mile High figures, the molds are made in Asia, shipped over to Colorado, and then the vinyl is poured in Colorado. So it's made in the U.S.A. Yeah, Barzo, the um, the the acrylic covers when they ship to me when i got the big shipment um a lot of them are cracked so what i did was i removed all the cracked ones and um my warehouse labeled those as damaged because they went through all of them when i got them they labeled them as damaged there's nothing i can do with a cracked acrylic cover so i had them throw it away and uh i sold the statues without covers so it has like a base and it has a statue and I thought that was good enough, uh, you know, because, you know, what am I supposed to do with them? Then when the statues and the bases are fine and the acrylic covers are broken. So I had two, I had two different items in my shop because of that. I salvaged all of the ones that had the okay green covers and I labeled them as deluxe. 
and I pictured them with the green cover and all the other ones I labeled as standards. So the ones that I was uh, giving away were the standard ones with no covers. So it's just, uh, it was just, you know, I was trying to make lemons, uh, lemonade out of lemons with that one, you know, cause it was like just shipping all those statues to my warehouse literally costed me a thousand dollars. They were so heavy and, and so big and they just weren't the, the acrylic just wasn't packaged appropriately and so many of them cracked. It was, that was kind of a bummer for me. So then I was just like, all right, you know, let me just, let me just give these away as I'm trying to clear out the warehouse. Okay. Never fear. Not, not a problem. All good. Yeah. Thanks Barzo. I mean, I don't know. what are you going to do? Right? It's just, that's life. Does anyone want to put a bit on my last kitty pillar? It's a $90 uh, 3A toy. My exclusive Siamese. This is my last one. You get it. Are you going to come out of the box? Are you going to come out of the box or not? So, we were talking about 3A before. So, at a certain point, 3A did make some pieces that were not designed by Ashley Wood. And one of them is the Kitty Pillar. The Kitty Pillar was designed by an artist who is known for his cat uh, pieces, um, 2D uh, uh, cat art, uh, Casey Weldon. So this is made by 3A in 2018, but the design is Casey Weldon. So this is the Kitty Pillar. And they did shop around um, some shop exclusives. I picked up the Siamese. I really like this one. And so this is another, this is another example of like, literally, like if you, if no one is like run it, I would be more than happy to just keep this one. This is my last Siamese kitty pillar that I have. So, um, oh, your girlfriend would kill you if you brought it home. Okay. So maybe, maybe I'll keep it then. Does anyone else want me to run this? Oh. I got, I got two run -its. I got two run -its. All right. I'll run it. This is a, um, just so you guys know, this is a, when it's on, it's like packaging, which is like multiple levels of packaging. It is a, it is a two pound product. So I have to, I have to, you know, it's one of my large ones. Kitty pillar, highly limited edition, 3A toy comes in really, really nice packaging, which I have around here somewhere, but it's, um, sorry, it's in a box. Um, but it's got um, Casey Weldon Kitty Pillar packaging, and then it even comes in a shipper box as well. So super tight packaging for this one. It's a, um, it's a, I believe a $90 toy. So thanks Urban Decay. You know, if, if one of you gets it for like $45, that will be a really solid purchase. It'll be like half price. Thanks, Patrick. I paid, I paid 60 for these. So never fear. Your payment has succeeded. You did it. Thank you. Yeah, it's very Tim Burton. And if you look up um, Casey Weldon's artwork, um, uh, he, he does a lot of really, he, I think it's a he, does a lot of really cool, um, super interesting cat artwork. Um, so I'm a huge fan of Casey Weldon's artwork in general. And these kitty pillars are just rad. Oh, Lewis, Lewis came in. Steve, yep. oh, oh, everyone's looking for this one. This is my last one, guys. So, you know, this is a relic. This is a throwback. Um, 3A is uh, no longer in existence. There'll never be any more of these. So this is really your last chance to get a kitty pillar and, and probably your last chance at getting a Siamese at really a really solid price. Steve, thank you so much. Nice job. Appreciate you and all the support. This thing gets wrapped in, wrapped in a bag, stuck in a blister, right? Wrapped in a bag, stuck. it's like so overpacked hilarious. 
wrapped in a bag, stuck in a blister. It's going to go into an art box and then into another box. So it's like, it's like high excessively excessive packaging, but that's okay. It'll, uh, it'll get to you safely um, without an issue. And, uh, you know, better to be overpackaged than underpackaged. That was my issue with the, uh, the Aquilus statues. Um, is there anything else? Oh, here, Duckman. Gotta do, gotta do this glow in the dark Duckman. Um, uh, gla uh, give me a sec. Let me, let me run this Duckman, then I'll show you guys a bunch of 3A, and then I'll run our um, buyer appreciation video. This was, um, as you guys know, this is hand numbered, so it's numbered right there. As you guys know, I'm always supporting emerging toy makers because um, I feel like that's like the really interesting place uh, for to be, uh, for like actually to keep the community going and to keep everything really cool. So yes, I do have another Go Gorilla. Um, I have, uh, Rob, I have two more Go Gorillas, one of which is going to be my buyer appreciation uh, Gibby. So I can auction one more if you wanted me to. This is a glow-in-the-dark Duckman. Um, I believe we only did 50 of these. It comes with a free matching pin. And uh, here, I'll make this one small. And this is my last one. So uh, the box is numbered. It's got like a holographic anonymous rat sticker on it, just like Mighty Jacks does it. It's got a little bit of spray on it. Glows in the dark. Comes with this. Comes with a pin. So this is Duckman. All of the anonymous rat figures are very, very weird, and they are like, like an animal combined with something else. So there's like Peach Man, and Duckman, and like just all these weird. Common. It's a very weird toy company. I and I literally I don't know who runs it, even though. I, uh, <laughs> Rob, I got you. You want me to run one more? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I will run one more for you. Yeah, I ran the balloon dog clutch. Sorry. Ran that balloon dog. Someone, uh, someone snagged it. Um, any more balloon dogs coming up or any more toys? Broski. Thanks, Patrick. No happy Popex at all. I would have to import them from Asia and it's very expensive. At the current time, I'm not uh, importing anything from Mighty Jacks right now. Because I need a god awful amount of money in the bank. Lewis, thank you. Nice job, Lewis. You get a duck man and a pin. Solid here. I wonder if I can tuck the, I'm gonna tuck the pin back behind the figure into one box so that it's all together. I feel like that was the smartest thing to do with that. Thank you, Lewis. There you go. Um, Uh, what did I just do? I did the kitty pillar. Let's see. We got the Let's see. Steve got the kitty pillar. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, Jax, that, that thing, um, that thing I need to fix, um, Jax, the, uh, the figure has a, um, uh, has a, 
a horn that came off unless you want to unless you don't care and you want to fix it you gotta let me know because it's uh it's the bantha and the horn needs to be glued back in right like that I mean, it's awful cute. It's just, you know, it sort of fits in. It just needs to be glued. Any Freeny left? No Freeny left. No Freeny, uh, no, no Freeny left. I sold my, sold my Freeny stuff. I, I sold my Freeny pieces. I sold my Freeny everything. <laughs> All right. Let's see, I have another, right, this one, why is this, this one marked as Danish? Okay, here we go. So, so I have, I have this, I have this one, this is marked as damaged because of that part of the, uh, that part of the box. So, so you don't care about that and that's not a big deal for you. We'll put it right there so you can see it. Rob, Rob, Rob J, this one's for you. In case you missed out. Run the Bantha as is? All right, let me let me run this one. Let me run this one first, okay? Just give me a sec. Um, so this is... This one is for, um, yes, thanks, Soul. Yes. Yeah, Jax, we can't can't do that. Sorry, that's uh, they wa they watch that kind of thing, so that's uh, it's not happening. Rob, this one's for you, man. Look, here's here's what this box looks like. It looks like this. It's a very light damage. This, these are really solidly packed. So this box is super solid. This toy is like perfect you know um so you know the box had a ding on it and it got pulled out um but uh you know this is your shot here again this is uh uh a james groman sculpture of a gorilla it is for a media company called Go Gorilla, and uh, they uh, obviously contracted with uh, Groman to sculpt this awesome gorilla, which I really love. It's super cute. And uh, I have a top exclusive, like the Yeti version, so. Yeah, the Sank sold. Sorry, guys. Sold like an hour ago. Here you go, Rob. Very cool figure. I, one thing I really like about this figure is it's got huge friggin' feet, so like it'll never fall down. You know, it doesn't matter how you position the arms, you can put them out in front of it. Rob, there you go, nice job. Nice job, Rob. I'm glad you got, I'm glad you fished your wish, Rob. That's, uh, you know, we're here to make everyone happy. So, that's the name of the game. Get it back in this little plastic bag. Good job. Um, guys, I think that, you know, we might be, we might be getting on towards the end of it here. Um, here, so let me, let me just, this is Rob. Just, give me a sec. Let me just take some notes on Rob, uh, Rob's purchase. Um, so Rob, this is a Go Gorilla. Okay. And then, um. that. So this is Rob J. Got it. The other person that got the Go Gorilla was, let's see, who was that? 
that was never fear. So I'm going to put a never fear sticker on this one so I don't get them confused. And uh, after that, I'm going to do my fire appreciation divvy. Never fear. Um, okay, so let me do one thing, guys. If you, if you're, everyone's asking me about the three A. So let me just move some boxes for you and uh, show you some stuff before I end the stream. Do my fire appreciation giving. You gotta be here. So okay, I have some crazy three A that you might have never seen. Um, or if you're a 3A fan, maybe you have, but I think I'm going to have to move my, I'm going to have to move this back and move this up. So there we go. So this is, uh, uh, gosh, it's about 15 inches tall. It's a bot, the huge puffer jacket on. It's, it's crazy. I don't know anything about this. Um, I would have to do my research. This is why I'm thinking like, like selling stuff like this on whatnot isn't really the most effective thing to do. Um, but yeah, I got, I got a uh, mic. I have no clue, man. Cause I don't even know what this is or how limited it is or like anything. Look at this little. Um, if you don't know about 3A, they are famous for their massive amounts of gotta stand up there, articulation. So here's this hand. You know, I think this guy's actually missing a thumb. Um, no, nothing comes with a box. Um, so you know, it's got. It's, it is an actual, it is an actual, it wears actual garments. So this, this would help us figure out what it is. I mean, it's, it's just crazy. The whole, I mean, it's a crazy figure. I don't, I don't know where Lance got it. I don't know the deal with this one. I don't know anything about it. Um, yeah. Tw okay. Thank you. 1200 to 1700. Never fear. I, I need to, I need to touch base with you about this stuff because I'm some of this stuff I don't even know um, but like I don't even think I don't even think running stuff like this on on whatnot is really gonna get me the prices that I should be getting Enku, thank you I mean, if it's a twelve hundred dollar figure, I'd have to run, I'd have to run it at a thousand. Oh, it's posted for three ninety nine. Where's it posted for three ninety nine? Gotcha. Yeah, mine doesn't have a box, so it's probably missing pieces and stuff like that. Um, yeah, let me grab some of these other ones. That's just one thing. I there's actually something. There's something in this box that Lance had that I've never seen before. I have never seen anything like that before in my entire life. And I've, I've seen a lot of 3A stuff, but I've never seen a bot with tracks. Um, Mariner fourth. I, do you got, I mean, it's just as is, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't have any, I don't have any, I don't have the bags on here. I, I don't even know. I'm I'm assuming this goes with it, but I don't even know where this goes because it doesn't. This piece doesn't fit in it anywhere. Yeah, but I don't know what it's worth, guy. I don't even know where to start it. I don't even know where to start it. No clue. I'd have to start it at like I don't even know, a hundred or something. 200? I, I, I have no clue. I have no clue. I just want to turn it into money and I'm sending it, you know, send the money to Lance's mom. 
Yeah, I, I, I'd rather hold off on doing all this stuff until I have some solid info about, uh, about you know, like what the value is. A super slow internet. I think I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna DM you before I start selling this stuff, um, so that we have, we're like, you know, on the same page. I mean, yeah. I'll just give you guys a, a little taste of everything that I've got. So you know, got that. got squares right I've got squares in multiple sizes and got them in a smaller size squares are squares were super popular 3a figures I got all kinds of stuff so this is a square also articulated right It's a square. It's a bigger square. They come even bigger than this. Yeah, I just don't even know. I'm, I got a whole box. I have two huge boxes of this stuff. Um, glass here. I will. I'll, I'll show you something that's going to get you salivating. Um, but I, I'm not. I'm not ready to do it yet. Let's see where is this? Thing? Where is this? Oh my, oh my god, so many huge figures here. Uh, give me a sec. You guys are always asking about, oh, you know, parts and uh, we're on the parts. You're like, all the parts. Oh my god, okay, all right. <laughs> Bags full of figures. Bags full of figures. Just so many figures. Just so many. I can't even tell you. He's got no feet. You know, <laughs> I mean, just, oh my God, he's got, <laughs> oh, Lance, Lance, what were you doing, bro? What, look, what's Lance doing? He's got, <laughs> it's just so much stuff. You know, I don't even know where their feet are. Oh my God, do the feet just fall off? They're probably in this bag. Like, I don't, I don't even know, you know? I've got, I've got so much stuff going on in here that Oh, this guy, his head came off. Right, yeah, but obviously the bags have like all the rest of the parts in here. Yeah. This, there's like a million little parts and everything, you know. Here's, here's one of the heads, right? So the head just goes in here. Um, yeah, so so Tomorrow Kings. These are called Tomorrow Kings. TK. Get this guy's head back on. Oops. So... You know, are they damaged? <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're, they're, I mean, they've all been sitting on an artist's workbench for like, you know, 10 years. You know, I've got guys like this, you know. Yeah, never, never fear. I, I, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to touch base with all you guys and just figure it out. Like, I really, I've, I've taken a note of that and I'm going to message you guys. Um, what I need to do is I need to go through these bags. Look, look, I have bags. It's a whole bag of two whole bags of uh, figures. So I need to go through them and figure out everything about them um, and take pictures. And that way I can, uh, you know, figure out. Are there any licensed ones? Um, Dante. Um, 3A didn't do licensed figures very much, but they did do like some, they did do some DC licensed figures at some point. Um, yeah, I mean, the clothing is, it is what it is, you know, it's um, relatively clean. I mean, you know, it's, it doesn't look too bad. You know, there's a little schmutz on there, but it's not, not like paint or anything like that. Any chomps? Uh, no, I don't, I don't have any chomps anymore. Um, yeah, I did. Um, um, 
Uh, super slow. I did do that actually um, at one point with my first round of these, and it was very helpful. Um, no, uh, no more dunnies other than um, other than uh, what I have at the warehouse. I have the J Root dunnies right now. Um, but I think that's pretty much it here. Uh, uh, let me see. So, okay. So now that we've uh, now that we've done all that stuff, I'm going to do the buyer appreciation giveaway, which is the last one of these. Um, and uh, I got a. There we go. Oops. Oh, I just dropped a square. Yeah, I can't really outsource it because it would just be too hard to uh, too hard to package everything up and send it. I just got to do it myself. All right, everybody, thank you so much for buying in the show. College student, you just want to go gorilla. Good going. Thank you for thank you for uh, buying. Really appreciate you. Let's see, what did you what did you buy? Let me make sure you didn't actually buy a. Uh, Make sure you can actually buy a Goku. Okay, you can. Okay. okay, cool. Good going. Nice job. Nice job. That is the buyer appreciation giving. Okay, cool. Um, what's the blind box on top of Boom Box? That is a uh, that is an arson dunny from 2012. That is sold. Well, no, that one's mine. Did I run the Joker? Um, I ran. I ran one Joker and then I didn't run the other one. I could run the other one if you want me to. College student, uh, the Godzilla. I didn't think people were interested in it, so I didn't. I didn't run it. People are talking about other stuff at that time, so I did not run that one. Okay. Um, Anthony, did you want uh, did you want me to run uh, Joker number nine sixteen? Because I, I can do that. I have I sold the one Joker, and I could run. Uh, yes, I sold number five hundred. That one is sold, and the other one is right here. If you want me to run Joker number nine sixteen, I can do that. Yeah, I can run a Joker. Um, this one is this one is uh, the smaller one. So let me see. Two, two, two. Find that small. Okay. If this is nine sixteen. I didn't. I didn't. Can I run nine sixteen already? Okay, do the Joker. Then before I start, that, let me just let me just make sure that I can already run that. Do I have another one of those? Oh, they do. I thought I had four of those. Okay, there you go. There you go. There you go, sir. Last auction for this show. Last auction. Thank you, Anthony. Got uh, hair and eyes and mouth. They're all glow in the dark. You want me to run the mini square? Okay, glass. Sure. Okay. 
I mean, Ban Bantha is, Bantha, oh, thanks Anthony. Bantha would be as is. Um, you'd have to, you'd have to glue that horn back in. But yes, I can totally do that. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony. Um, Bantha, I can run. Okay. It is resin. It is not vinyl. It is resin. It is made by my buddy uh, Scott, Force of Darkness. Glass, give me a sec. And I'll get that other stuff. Uh, get that little square run for you. Oh my God, there's a Best Buy date. That is that is some funny stuff. Okay, I gotta move this square. Okay. There you go. There you go. This one is. Uh, this is for the band. Oh no, I did not. I did not want to make it large. Hold on. Yeah, doing recon on it would be awesome. So this is the Bantha. It's got the little, it's got flex in it, sparkles. I guess they're paint flex. Tatooine Dairy Farms, Bantha. It's Force of Darkness. Cool piece. Dig it. Heavy, solid, solid resin. Solid resin. Again, you're gonna have to glue that little horn back on. What's the start on the Punk Chunkers figure? Well, I started it at one, but that one's already sold. Every, uh, every, uh, most of the stuff in the, um, in the shot is sold. Thanks, Jax. Steve. Steve pulled it. Nice job, Steve. Nice job. Nice job. Sorry, Jax. All right. Where's the small? I want to do it. All right, gotta do a Okay. Um, glass, this one is for you. Let's see. It's Very small, there's no box. Gonna make it very small. Okay. All right. Pin it. There you go. There you go, glass. Can I find creepy blind boxes? Like creepy like a brand brand or just creepy in general? Um, I have I have a ton. I actually have a ton of blind boxes here. Um, maybe, maybe the Dino with the belly is Big C's baby fats. Blind boxes. I um. Ooh, thanks, class. Um, blind boxes. I. Should be in my buy it now, but I can I can go make sure. Oh, thank you, Funko. Yeah, that's one of the blind boxes I have. Yeah, so so if you go look at my buy it now, there's some of my blind boxes in there. I actually need to photo more of them. Um, really cool. 
cool. Thank you, Dante. <laughs> glass <win. laughs> Dante, nice job, man. Nice job. Nice job, guys. This over here. All right, guys, that is about all I have time for today. I have a lot of packing up to do here before my kid gets home. But uh, thank you all very, very much for rolling with me for a couple hours. I appreciate you. I um, have a lot, have a lot of packing up to do here. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, got to cut this one off soon. Um, um, Never fear and super slow internet. I'm going to get in touch with you um, because I have a lot of different 3A to uh, photograph and show everyone. And, uh, and I got to get really organized and do that. Tomorrow is packing and shipping day. So, yeah. <laughs> Mark, I'll just email you. I'll just email you. Okay, I'll just text you. Um, yeah, I got a bunch. Um, and it's really like, it's like really old, but it's time for me to sell it now. And also I, I wanna make sure Lance's mom gets enough money. So like, that's really like my driving thing here. So um, I'll, once I get more organized, I mean, the boxes are right here in my apartment. So like, I gotta do it soon. Um, and I'll, I'll figure it all out. Um, cool. Well, I got my work ahead of me here. Thank you all so much. Um, so I have, um, obviously I have New York Comic Con coming up um, in mid-October. Um, it's going to be a really big show there um, and it's going to be really, really fun. Um, after the show, I'm going to take what I have left over and I'm going to uh, do a show right here. So you should go bookmark that show. Um, eventually I'm going to set up um, another show um, where I clear out this case of Funko products and, uh, and another show where um, after, it's probably going to have to be after Comic-Con, where I clear out the 3A products. It might be, the 3A thing might be more than one show, but uh, um, if, and that is if, and you know, that might not even be everything. Like it, it might be that some of the pieces are like just way too expensive to like even run on whatnot and expect anyone to put a bid on them. But I'll try to figure out a reasonable price for everything and uh, figure out what I want out of it and then, uh, you know, get those shows organized. So you can't you can't bookmark that show right now. But you should definitely go bookmark my post New York Comic Con show. Um, it is up there uh, right now. Um, any customs that are left over, um, that'll be either um, Cyber Skulls or, or Cat Bats. Um, I will have uh, up here on whatnot. And uh, there's a whole ton of other exclusives that I'm going to have. Um, there's the, the, the Sket one, uh, Ripple figures I could also have here um, on whatnot. There's also Tarvis the Tardy Grades and a bunch of other stuff. So it's going to be a really cool show for everybody. If you can't make it to New York for Comic-Con, that's kind of like your next best thing if you're into designer toys is like checking out what's available for you like the couple of days after the show ends. So uh, thank you everybody very much. Um, if you're expecting something from my warehouse, please hang tight. They're really backed up. There's nothing I can do about it. And um, I'm going to keep broadcasting here and doing more uh, shows here, especially as I do this warehouse transition. So like my, my Band-Aid on the disruption that comes with the warehouse transition is like I can keep doing whatnot shows and keep selling things at least um, on a weekly basis, even if like a lot of stuff is sort of like hidden from my shop temporarily. Because what happens is... I decide what is going to the new warehouse. It disappears from my shop, ship it to the new warehouse, onboard with them, which takes however long, and then the stuff appears again. So, so this, you know, for me, it's not that great because there's like a period of time where I can't really sell <clears throat> warehouse stuff through my website. But, you know, hopefully that's all cleared up before Black Friday and we're just raring to go. So, 
Thanks everyone. Appreciate you. Thanks for joining me. Um, if you are not following me on whatnot, please go, please go follow. Um, I'm easy to find and I do some pretty interesting shows that I haven't really ever seen duplicated on whatnot. So try my best to do something useful and give you guys, um, some really fun stuff to, uh, some fun stuff to buy, um, some good deals, good prices and, uh, and things that are hard to obtain. So, you know, do I ever pick up any bear bricks? That's a good question, Lacey. I hadn't been picking up bear bricks until I got into whatnot, and now I have some orders for the next two series. So yes, you can expect the next two series that come out, which is 46 and 47, I think. Um, I'm going to have those, yes. Uh, are we up to 46? You guys know what we're up to now? I think. Um, 47, 48, okay. Whatever. The next two. Um, yeah, well, hey, listen, Merch, you know, win in Rome, sell pasta, right? So, you know, here I am, and uh, and I think I can do some fun shows. And specifically, Merch, introduce the Bear Brick crowd to more interesting designer toys. Like, that's the whole point. Like, run Bear Bricks, then show them designer toys. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, like it makes sense. That's what I was doing with Funko's makes sense to me for, you know, Funkos, sell the Funkos, introduce people to designer toys. Same with Bear Bricks. Sell the Bear Bricks, here's some designer toys. Um, so, you know, I think Bear Bricks have been a little bit hard lately. I think everyone overbought for whatever reason. There's been some, re some they, they like oversold and overbought and saturated the market on 400s and 1000s. And, um, you know, I think um, one of the things that'll like avoid that oversaturation is just the appearance of the brand new series of brand new designs. So, um, you know, uh, you know, it, it's just another, you know, it's another cool blind box series and I'm onboarding blind boxes. So, you know, I'm, I'm all about it. So uh, thank you guys so much. Um, and I'll catch you on my uh, upcoming shows. Peace everybody. Oh, wait, who should I, who can I, who can I, um, who can I raid here? Who's on right now? You got. Check my oh man, freaking iPad turned off. Okay. Who um. Who needs to be uh. <clears throat> who needs to who needs to get a raid? Should I, should I raid someone? Yep, there we go. Rating. <laughs>